You could submit multi-million dollar contract bids on SAM.gov, which is a website of the U.S. government that places contract opportunities for bids that you can place and say, hey, I want to do this job and it's going to take $20 million. And the U.S. government, they've got big pockets, so typically these bids go for pretty high. They don't always choose the lowest bidder either. They choose usually the one that is going to fit the, the objective. The most often you can go to this website, click on contract opportunities, and you can begin searching for these contract opportunities. It's really simple, really straightforward. And I was trying uh, Rust, for example, and you can see that there is a software engineering opportunity to translate all the C code from the Department of Defense uh, into Rust programming language. There's a job posting on the US government website, sam.gov, that allows, they're asking for us to translate all of the, all the C code into Rust. Since and they they it's a good reason because all the general challenges that you run into as a C programmer there's really easy to have whoopsies all over the place and the compiler will let you do it and these whoopsies will typically result in a crash or severe security vulnerability. Let's take a look at this contract posting here uh, by the Department of Defense for DARPA sub tier Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. They want specifically the ability to go forward and translate legacy C code into Rust, this is going to be a, sort of an automated workflow process delivery solution that they're looking for. They don't want you just to go in and say, here's all the C code and just rewrite it into Rust. They're looking for a way that combines a, a sort of like a, a novel software analysis, static analysis, dynamic analysis, machine learning techniques, probably some large language models that translate the code. And they want a workflow process that they can deploy across all of their code bases that are C that will rewrite it into Rust. So that's, that's the project. And you can bid for this project right now. They're going to be uh, asking you to uh, sign up in a specific way and attend a uh, so sort of some, a symposium of sorts, and then you can submit your contract uh, and the bid, and it could probably we're going to see some pretty high dollar values here. We're probably going to see multi million, ten million plus dollar contracts. There are a lot of software engineering opportunities on SAM.gov, which is a, a website, official website of the U.S. government. They have opportunities for a lot of different jobs of all varieties. Specifically, you can search for them under the contract opportunities section on their website, and you can type in software uh, to filter out the criteria, and you can see that there's a whole bunch of things in here. It goes a little bit beyond software, too. I do see some electrical in here. Uh, so we see a weather system. Um, let's see here. What else? I actually saw an interesting one. Oh, interesting. All right, so Starfish software. Uh, they're looking for something interesting. I, I saw something about, oh, here we go. On-demand access to aggregated human mobility data is probably creating a system that is more along the lines of data science. Uh, and so let's see what we have here. Um, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? Uh, Environmental Protection Agency. Oh, EPA. Mm, yeah, it's a whole bunch of different things here. The description on demand. Uh, well, we kind of need a little bit more details than that. <laughs> so it is looking for custom computer programming services. It seems like that's the code. So you could probably use this code to uh, do more levels of searches. They're looking for database, middleware. So this is a data science project that you probably have a pool of data and they need you to create a system that in probably real time could allow someone to query in aggregate uh, data based on human mobility. And I don't know what that is specifically, but it is human mobility data. All right. Oh, that did do it. It did. So you just type in this code, this special code, 541511. And this is going to give you all the software engineering opportunities. Uh, wow. Okay. So we've got lab subscriptions, license tool suite, uh, intent bridge contract extension. Then we saw, of course, the human mobility data analysis one. We've got a virtual reality training kits. There's a lot of stuff in here. And I don't, I have not seen the competition level, though it does seem like there are a few opportunities in here for you to submit some bids and 
potentially win them and they get really big you get really big bid opportunities in here